the heart of the city, where skyscrapers rose like concrete colossi, there was a man named Robert. Every morning, as he made his way to work, he crossed paths with a solitary homeless man. This man, weathered by time and misfortune, held an improvised sign with crooked letters, proclaiming in bold, Prepare to meet thy doom, the end of the world is nigh. Robert couldn't help but feel a mix of compassion and curiosity every time he saw that sign. He wondered what had led this homeless man to believe so strongly in the end of the world. To the point of proclaiming it to everyone who passed by. It was an unusual sight in the heart of the city, where most people were too busy with their lives to pay attention to such gloomy predictions. Over the months, Robert's routine remained the same, as did the presence of the homeless man with his ominous sign. The man never begged for money or bothered people who walked past him. He simply stood there, with vacant eyes fixed on the horizon. On a particularly bleak day, as Robert was facing a crisis at work, he encountered the homeless man once again. This time, the man seemed more agitated than ever, and his expression was one of extreme anxiety. He urgently grabbed Robert's arm and whispered, My dream was this, amidst the leaves, through the dust. Before Robert could grasp the meaning of these enigmatic words, the homeless man let go and disappeared into the crowd. Robert tried to chase after him, but the city's hustle and bustle were overwhelming, and the man got lost among the people. Robert frantically searched for him in the busy streets. He approached a police officer patrolling the area and described the homeless man and his sign, but the officer seemed to have no idea who Robert was talking about. Incredulously, Robert began asking people on the street if they had seen the man with the ominous sign. But all the answers were negative, as if the homeless man had never existed. As the days turned into nights, and Robert couldn't shake the memory of the homeless man and his cryptic words, something began to change within him. Disturbing visions started to haunt his dreams. Initially, Robert tried to ignore these visions, attributing them to the stress and anxiety he was facing in his professional life. But over time, the visions became more vivid and recurrent. He could barely concentrate at work, his mind dominated by grim images of the end of the world. Lack of sleep and growing paranoia finally forced him to seek medical help. His doctor initially suspected sleep disorders and prescribed medications to help him sleep, but the visions didn't go away. On the contrary, they intensified, becoming even more terrifying. Robert's desperation grew as the apocalyptic visions continued to torment him, as if they wanted to consume his mind. He felt as if he were on the brink of madness, unable to distinguish reality from the terrible images haunting him. With tears in his eyes, he ran through the city's busy streets, seeking a place where he could escape these terrifying visions. With each step, the images became more vivid and oppressive. The sky broke into flames, buildings crumbled around him, and the city turned into ruins. The people around him seemed to ignore the impending chaos, continuing their daily lives as if nothing were wrong. Finally, exhausted and panicked, Robert fell to his knees in the middle of the street. Tears of despair rolled down his face as he struggled to maintain his sanity. Tired and defeated, Robert finally succumbed to exhaustion and fell asleep right there, on the cold asphalt of the city. His body was vulnerable, sprawled in the middle of the road, while traffic continued to flow around him. As Robert got up from the ground, still dazed by the strange dreams and apocalyptic visions that had haunted him, an unfamiliar man approached him. With a serene and understanding expression, the man extended his hand to Robert, helping him to his feet. You seem to have been through something difficult. The man said, his voice calm and comforting. Robert, still confused and speechless, tried to explain what had happened, his visions, and the strange disappearance of the homeless man. But before he could finish, the man gently placed his hand on Robert's shoulder and said, I understand, my friend. With these words, the man picked up a fallen sign from the street and handed it to Robert. To Robert's surprise, the sign was identical to the one the homeless man used to hold, with the ominous message, Prepare to meet thy doom the end of the world is nigh. 
Robert looked at the sign in disbelief, trying to understand what was happening. And then, he realized something even more disturbing, Robert was dressed exactly like the homeless man, in tattered and dirty clothes. When he saw his reflection in a nearby window, he was horrified to discover that somehow, his face was also identical to that of the missing man. Before he could comprehend what had occurred, Robert noticed that all the people on the street had stopped walking and were staring at the sky. A shadow began to cover the midday sky, and Robert felt relieved.